why you never see narwhals in an aquarium. Narwhals change color as they age. The narwhal tusk is unique among whales. No two tusks have the exact same pattern. Narwhals are uniquely adapted to frigid Arctic waters, but you'll never see a narwhal in an aquarium. Narwhals live exclusively in the cold waters of the Arctic. They stay near pack ice in northern Canada, Greenland, Norway, and Russia. Aquariums can't recreate narwhals' freezing habitat. Warm tanks make narwhals sick. Bacteria, pneumonia, and skin problems happen. Narwhals dive over a mile deep to find halibut, cod, and shrimp. No tank can match that depth or food supply. Narwhals eat up to 15 pounds of fish and invertebrates daily. That's too much to provide in captivity. There are only about 80,000 to 90,000 narwhals in the world. Removing them from the fragile Arctic is risky. Narwhals are sensitive to noise and disturbances. They can hurt themselves without enough space to swim. Captivity stress could be fatal. For now, Arctic cruises are the best way to see narwhals, but there have been attempts to keep them in captivity. In 1969, the New York Aquarium got the first captive narwhal calf. They named it Umiyak, after Inuit canoes used to hunt narwhals. Inuits captured Umiyak after killing its mother. Umiyak was put in with a beluga stepmother for company. Staff fed Umiyak milk and clams daily, but Umiyak's time at the aquarium was short-lived. Less than a year after arriving, it died of pneumonia. In 1970, the Vancouver Aquarium captured the second captive narwhal. The narwhal was named Hila Laguk, from the Inuktitut word for narwhal. Within a week, they also brought in two female narwhals and three calves. All were put in the tank with Kila Laguk. At first, it seemed successful, but things soon went wrong. Within a month, the three calves died. By November, the two females had also died. People were outraged, including calls to release Kila Laguk, but the aquarium's director refused. On December 26, Kila Laguk died too. Narwhals are truly best left alone. They are amazing creatures. Narwhals have a long straight tusk. This tusk is an enlarged tooth. It sticks out from the left side of the upper jaw. It can grow up to 10 feet long. The narwhal tusk is unique among whales. Scientists believe the tusk is used for sensory purposes. Male narwhals tend to have larger tusks than females. The tusks play a role in mating rituals and establishing dominance. Females may have a small tusk or no tusk at all. No two tusks have the exact same pattern. Narwhals were once hunted for meat and tusks. Today, they are protected by international law, but some hunting by indigenous peoples is still permitted. Narwhals travel in groups of 15 to 20 whales, called pods. During migration, they may form large groups of 100 or more whales. Narwhals use echolocation to communicate. Narwhals can live up to 50 years old. Newborns have a blue-gray tint, which fades to mottled gray in adults. Older males turn nearly all white. Narwhals are uniquely adapted to frigid Arctic waters. They have high fat and sugar levels to withstand the cold. So let's appreciate narwhals and leave them alone.